welcome back to a day in the life of Tiptoe. He's very stinky and we're giving him a bath. Tiptoe has been spending the past few days, few weeks in his house because it's been so nasty and cold. So the underbelly of his shell is a little bit plastered with some business, some blessings on there. So every time he's been coming on my lap the past few, few days, he leaves a little bit of a mark. So we're going to, we're gonna change that. We're gonna fix that. We are going to give him a, a deep cleaning. It's so beautiful out. Let me check the temperature actually. Oh, well, it's 59, but comparatively, it's nice. It's nice, we're loving the sun. We're getting some vitamin D. Let's check on tiptoe and just get him in the bath. Hi. Good morning. When we give Tiptoe a proper spa day, we like to fill his tub up with a bunch of hibiscus flowers or roses. That way we can ensure he stays in there long enough while we're scrubbing him. He doesn't dislike it, but I definitely think that he's more of a lounge and don't be bothered when he's in the tub. So we're gonna have to do some scrounging for flowers because I just did an overlook of the backyard and well, not looking so hot on that hibiscus. Number two hibiscus, not so hot. Three, not so hot. Four, five, six, seven, eight. No flower. I'm gonna send out some texts to some neighbors and see if anybody has any extra hibiscus flowers. We have to make sure that there's no pesticides on them, but we need them. So let's see what we can do. This will work, this will work. Okay, we got a beautiful bowl of flowers. Before I fill up his pool with water, I wanna make sure that I sweep out all of the excess yuckiness. Like I said, Chipto does some business in the pool, he does some calcium deposits, so we wanna make sure it's nice and clean before we fill it up with nice fresh water. We built this in the ground pool for Tiptoe two years ago and when we did that we decided that we would have to connect it to our water heater because Tiptoe will not go in the water unless it is heated. Prince. So we're gonna set up our water heater situation, get the hose plugged in and then we're gonna be good. Tiptoe's favorite thing to do with the hose is to lay directly on it. That way it like tickles his underside a little bit. So as you can see, hose is, it's right under him. And for a little nerdy tortoise information, soaking tortoises is actually extremely beneficial to their health. When Tiptoe goes in the pool, as with the most tortoises, they, uh, the warm water kind of soothes them. So helps with their digestive system, helps to get things moving. Lots of calcium deposits come off in here and it's a great way to get him hydrated. He'll drink through his mouth and also on his rear end, they take water in and it helps hydrate them. So three stones, one bird, whatever the saying is, and he loves it. So we fill it up until it gets right over his chest plate. That's probably enough water. use 
those nice soft toothbrushes to gently scrub on him. Lots of stuff gets caked on. We just gotta shine you up. All of these white lines that are in between Tiptoe Scutes mean that he is still growing. He must be going through a growth spurt because they are very prominent throughout his entire shell. So Big Boy is in fact still growing. You just ran away from the tub. We gotta still get ya. See, this just came from underneath his shell. And that's what usually ends up going on my lap. Peace and love, Tiptoe, but we gotta get you clean. We just gotta shine you up. This is so gross, I'm so sorry. But education comes first. All right, nice, giving him a nice good bath and now the bath is the toilet. Okay. Right, you are. 